You can call me stupid Yes, you can call me sheep You can say I lay a You can say I weep You think that using her would get to me And if you're right then you're in trouble D Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait This is easy Okay, he's looking at one this is not exactly the same thing. This is exactly the same it as the one the camera, the camera is slightly smaller. Slightly smaller. Slightly smaller. Maybe. You know what else is slightly smaller? Peter McKinnon. He's actually shorter than me. Get wrecked. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> No, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. I want to, I want keep to, doing it. How long can you go? He's only six four. I don't know. If I think to be fair, I never looked up his height. I think he's. I think he might be six four, but I don't think it's really an only six four. That's still pretty tall. Yeah, I was gonna say you're saying only six four. Like, oh yeah, everyone's six four. <laughs> Look at me being six four. Oh damn. Look how wide that is. That's very wide. Yeah. yeah, so that would have been getting you the whole time. Mm -hmm. Is that 15? Yep, that 14. checks it. 14. 14 mil. I don't have that. Pretty cool. Welcome to Port Adelaide. There you go. Look at that. Amazing. My arm is getting sore. Yeah. Holding it out. <laughs> My mate, um, I went to go see him and he's like, yo, your arm just, your shoulder is just like going to be massive because you're holding out the vlog yeah, cam the entire the time. Oh yeah, because you need, you know, you need to stabilize that footage. Um, yeah. And then I was doing a sh doing a shoot with someone. I didn't even have this camera. I had um had a Sony, yeah. a smaller Sony designed for vlogging, and it's so light. And she was just looking at me. She's like, I'm vlogging. She's like, Yo, how big is your arm? I'm like, Yeah, you know, it's not, it's it's okay. All right. So my friend, um, I was working at the camera store. I was working at the store yesterday, and she was like, You need to buy the 85 mil. And as much as I'd love to, I'm like, Yeah, 85 great focal length. Mm -hmm. 1.2. I've already got a 50 1.4. And a 135 f2. Give it one two. That's, a, that's the thing. And she's like, oh, imagine the portraits. I'm like, yeah. However, so today we're going to be testing the 85 versus the 50 versus the 135, and then see if you just don't get any of them and just go with my favorite 7200. Uh, Nathan, you shoot uh, portraits, events, and other. You're a photographer. Yes. What's your favorite uh, focal length for portraits? Do you, do you have oh, one? Focal length. Yeah, I just pick your oh, favorite focal um, length. Damn, okay. Well, see, I really like a 35, which Ooh, is a little bit little bit wider. different for portraits. Um, I would say that like normally for portraits, I'd still use a 70 to 200 though. So yeah. I, I use one of those focal lengths depending on, you know, what sort of compression you want. An 85 would be lovely. Uh, I think everyone wants an 85 <laughs> if you're a photographer. But yeah, no, I haven't seen a specific need for it yet. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's controversial and gonna mess up Ooh. the video. But I'm mostly just no, like good, for headshots good. and stuff, especially. Yeah. Um, or even like weddings and stuff, I'll probably use like yeah, the 70 to 200. That's what I'm saying. I've got a 70 to 200. It's like well, I don't need an 85. But again, but we're then, gonna be testing it. Yeah, but then every every person that I've known that got an 85 1.2 <laughs> <laughs> has been like, why didn't I do this sooner? Oh. And they use it for everything. <laughs> Like Juan, Juan did it. Yeah, Juan loves it. He absolutely, like he uses it for everything. Yeah, he does. Or at least he did before he went to Sony. Ooh. Um, no, so, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a place for everything. I, def uh, I definitely I think there's a, I definitely think there's a place for like every focal length. Like, yeah. there's definitely. But if you already own like a 50 and a 70 to 200, do you need the 85? Like, I don't think I need it. Uh, but regardless, we are going to be shooting it, and I'm going to just flash up some images, and you can guess which uh, which lens it was shot on and which one you like best. But but uh, that's not actually right now. It's it's back at his office, which, yeah, is, yeah. which looks cool by the way. Thank you. It's nice. It's, it's I nice. didn't design it. Somebody else did. That's but fair. It's a nice. It's a <laughs> nice. It's a nice. Space. It's a nice yeah. Environment. I didn't want to film in there because I was like, I'm gonna just disturb yeah, so people. many people. <laughs> yeah, all the other businesses that yeah, use the space. The, yeah. the businesses that are like, yo, I'm actually doing work. What's this guy doing? I'm like, this is. <laughs> Stop this, talking to me. It's a passion it's project. Work. It's a passion project. Hey man, I'm actually busy. Like, I don't know what you do for a living, but it's clearly not photography. Yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm probably just gonna cut to uh, testing the shot. So see you. Uh, see you. See you in a second. Hey dude. Hello. How you been? Good. This is Elijah. I work with him. That's how I know him. Okay, so today we're actually testing the 50mm 1.4, the 85mm 1.2, the 135 f2, and a 70-200 to uh, discover which is the best portrait lens. So, <laughs> and we're going to test it in portraits, going to test it for b-roll. And uh, Elijah, what do you shoot with? I shoot the Canon R8 uh, with the 24-70 2.8. Oh, good choice. Good choice. Look at all that. Oh, thanks Jazz for showing me this place because it's it's so nice. It's so nice. So like I was saying before, we're testing out 
Sigma 50mm 1.4, the 85 1.2 Canon, the 100mm Macro, the 135 F2, last but not least, the RF 70-200 2.8. I love this lens. Mwah! Just, this is my go-to for portraits. Lorelei, I'm sure you're right. I'm going to love the photos, but I just, I, camera of choice, R5, because you have to. You have to. We're going to also shoot B-roll of uh, each lens, see if you can, you know, I'm going to gamify it and see if you can spot the difference between each lens. If you can, great job. You're a nerd just as much as me. If you can't, that's fine. I'm sure you'll just happily watch all this B-roll. Shut up. Just get to it, b -roll. Just, just, Just shoot the B-roll, man. Just shoot the B-roll. <laughs> Alright guys, how was that? Did you get any right? Because I'm probably going to look over this footage and be like, Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, so, if you got any right, great job. Comment down below on which ones you got right. But I think all of them work really well for B-roll. I think 50 is definitely the, the, I mean, of course, it's the widest and it's probably the easiest one to spot. But yeah, so that's what they look like for B-roll. Here we go to take the portraits. And again, we'll gamify it, see if you can tell which one's which. And... I don't know, have fun. <laughs> Alright, see you, see you in a second. Pretty. Is, like, look, yeah. at, look at how nice this looks. Oops. Especially <laughs> golden. Oh, I need to come back for golden hour. Yeah, thanks, Jazz, for showing me that. If you haven't seen that video, link in the description or oh, in the iCard. Again, I don't know which side, but whatever. Uh, how was that? How was that, Elijah? Did you? So good. Lots of fun. Like the lenses, the lens yes. options. Got some. Uh, Inspiration now. Yeah. Elijah's like, well, now I need to get an 85 mm -hmm. and a 50 and a 135 and a 100. Like, I've got to get all of them. Oh, but your 300 so cool. Yeah, I never thought to use that for portraits. No one ever does, but I think just having a lens with super tight compression. What my friend Nathan always says, and you know, you met him earlier in the vlog, is that a 35 gives you context and a 50 gives you context of the background and surroundings. And that's what you might discover when back, looking back on those photos and looking back on that video. Is that, yeah, the tighter the focal length you go, yes, it pops the subject off the background and it like obliterates the background a lot more. But you're also like, oh, well, where are we? You don't get to see that you're in a giant forest just surrounded by trees. 35 mil and a 50. Yeah, they do that pretty well. All right, so comment below uh, whether or not you got any of them right. I don't think I'll get any right. I'll be like looking at the photos, look at the metadata and be like, oh, that's the 100? That's the 85? That's... Did not expect that. I what the difference is. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll just do that. Doggy doggy. Probably, probably uh, cut back to Vpop, reviewing the photos and he'll probably tell you what his favorite lens is. So we'll just do that. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch, Vietnamese. Yes. Yeah, cool. So I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna cut, cut, cut here and then we'll see, you'll see what's happening. We went out, took the photos. Um, I took it on A5. 50, a 135, some 70 to 200. Yep. And I want to see if you, with your trained eye, can spot the difference between each lens and what you think is what. I feel like there's so many YouTube videos of this being done. Sorry, no, no, no. no. All right, so <laughs> here's the first photo. What lens do you think it was shot on? 85. Oh, oh, it's a 50. Is it? This oh, is the 50. That is, oh, okay. So. That's good. Yeah, right? 
right? That's pretty good. What what is f stop? This is 1.4. Yeah, okay. This is so 1. it's just 4. like all of them are wide open. All of them are wide open to give mm -hmm. them like, the best shot of like yeah, yeah. tricking you. Um, in fact, yeah. I was going back <laughs> through them. I'm like, this is a really. I love the um, 70 to 200. I look at them. Like, oh, it's a 135. Makes sense. It's part of that range, but yeah. still. Like, yeah. All right, cool. Let's do a. Uh, the next one. Okay. Oh, this one's my favorite. This is my favorite lens ever. Mm, yeah. You, you can... did just say it's your favorite lens ever. Oh, that's true. I might give it away. What are we thinking? Um. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. See, I want to say 135 because yeah. I know that that's one that you've had in the past. Mm hmm. Um, because you said it's your favorite lens ever. Yeah, but I say that about like 10 lenses. <laughs> you do say that about 10 lenses. Yeah, it's like, you know what else is my favorite lens ever? The... Fall off on the focus, especially over his shoulder and onto his elbow, makes me think that it's like a 1.2, but it could be just compression. Could be just compression. It could be just compression. It could just be They're a all total um, Except for 50. Yeah, except for the 50. I thought the 50 was going to be the easiest one to it's spot. The widest. My, 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 oh, I'm taking too a, long at this. Might put a timer one next time. Yeah, did like a, a timer one. Yeah. Did like just a. 30 second timer. Yeah. Well, you've already burned like 20 seconds, so you yeah, set a 10 second timer. I, d I got, I have no idea. I want to take a stab in the dark. I think it might be, I want to say 85. Just 85? Yeah, I said 85 the last one. I want one of these to be the 85. One of them will be the 85. Okay, uh, well, it's not this one then. <laughs> but this is the 135. I was! Good it job! Was. Good oh, job, okay. you said the 85. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, 135. Right. Second guess myself because that was that was yeah. my first thought after you said the new favorite lens, mm. and I was like, it does look. I do love the 135. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move go. on to the next one. Here we go. Uh, it's, that has to be the 85. Come on. Final guess. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the 7200. Okay, uh, kind of, kind of three for a loop. This one's actually 300. This is a 300 mil. I am standing. Okay, I'm, I'm standing <laughs> so far back. I've got nothing. I'm like on the other See, side. See, if of the you board. did them all from the same distance, I'd be able to tell. Yes. Yes. If um, it was like the same photo comparison. Yeah. All right. We'll do that after in a second because I did do. Oh, that. you did. Do I that. did do that too. Okay. We'll see. I did do that too. I'm talking so. big game. I might right. not be able to figure that one out. Either. All right. Cool. We'll do that one after. <laughs> what are we thinking for this one? Wide open. Wide open. I'm trying to think of which ones I've guessed and which ones I got wrong. Imagine if I did the same That's one. Not, it's not the 85. Is it? it? It can't be. It doesn't look... What? This is the 85. Is it actually? This is the 85. That I'm looks a lot... EF 85 mil. Does it look like what? a 50? <laughs> like... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, 85. Yeah, okay. I was expecting the background to be like completely way more out. gone. But yeah. I guess you are further away from I am further away from the subject yeah. and I, I again I was looking through the photo and I'm like 50? Nah. Nah. It was the 85. So you did it too. It, even I like, screwed up. Yeah. I was like the background's not enough to even like it, enough. Yeah. Damn. It's just double okay. that. Yeah, 85, 1, 2. Oh, F number 3.5. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that's why. Kind of, kind of threw that one off. Hold on. Yeah. This one's <laughs> a one. That's cheating. Alright, 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 alright. How about this one? Um. Yeah, I've got. This is. <laughs> this is doing my head in. Um. <laughs> ah, that's an 85 one. Still 85 yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Good that's job. A... Got one. <laughs> got one, man. Yes! I said 85 what? How many? Like four times and I got it right once? Yeah, so you know, process of elimination. So uh, let's uh, let's do the V pop ones where these are all just um where we tried our best to maintain the same framing. Yeah. And we you know took a step forward, text took a step back. This is stressful it's nice, actually. It's a nice portrait of me. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Um alright. That's a happy lad. He's looking at a 70 to 200. He's looking at a... No, he's not. Oh, he's what not? He's not. What's he looking at? 100mm macro. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> you can't put yeah. this on YouTube. This is my professional... <laughs> this is... At least don't show it to my client. Okay, okay. Your clients will... Yeah, don't yeah. worry. Nobody sees my videos. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. That's actually not true. My um, view counts have gone up by 90%, but they were like very low before. Yeah. Are you going to do the... 95% um, of my viewers aren't subscribed? Are you going to do one of those now? I mean, they aren't subscribed, so... 
You guys should subscribe. I think you should. You really should. He's a great guy. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's fun. Just a quick side note. Do you think uh, Canon would uh, eventually just make me an ambassador or something if I keep wearing the shirts and the jumpers and using the gear? Think about I don't know. They're not going to make me an ambassador <laughs> after this. <laughs> this guy can't even tell what an 85 is from a 50. 50 to a 135? Come on, man. Uh... This is breaking me. Mm. Um, okay, let's let's try and look at this scientifically. Scientifically, mm. I'm pretty sure these ones are wide open. Yeah. Because I told him to looks, shoot all wide open. Yeah. Um, Back one's getting demolished. I forgot what, what this one was. <laughs> you forgot? It didn't it have it? At yeah, it the did. It did second? say. I did say that. It does, it does say at the top, and I, even I'm like, oh, what mm. is this one? I reckon a fifty. You, you, you could 50? get away with that. Look at a fifty. Yeah. It's a seventy. Okay. Oh, from the 70 to From the 70 to 200, this is 70. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> Nathan is just gonna cry later, he's gonna be like... This is not really good. I was like, yes, I love... Love me some telephoto. Love the telephoto. Love, love some bokeh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... It's really right. not doing it. Final one. Oh, well, that's, final one. that's 50. That's 50? That's 100% 50. You Look really, how close you are. You really want to go with that? No, it's 85. What? <laughs> no, 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 it's a 50. No, yeah, you're right. 50. 50. Awesome. <laughs> Sick. I was like, surely he gets this one. Like, that is so obvious. Yeah, yeah. Fit. Uh, with that all to be said, should I buy the 85? <laughs> Don't ask me. I think no. you should. I think you should always buy lenses. I think we should always buy an 85. Um, but I don't know, I'm not, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but I think you should buy the, the camera stuff. I mean, that's a good point, that's a yeah. good point. <laughs> I don't think I will, just because you can, I can achieve... How often would you use it as well? That's the thing, because yeah. I already have the 50, because yeah. I already have the 135, mm -hmm. and a 7200 which has 85 covered, be at that, it's not 1.2, I just don't think I'd use it. Or I would end up using it all the time and I'll be like, oh, well, now I don't need the 50, I don't need the 135. Yeah. But I prefer having those two options um, at a wide aperture, um, wider than 2.8. And just for this, you know, I think that's a bit more versatile. I mean, I could yeah. I could sell both and just get the 85. Could do. Yeah. I reckon. But then I thought I could miss it. I thought I, I could that. miss. Yeah. Ah, so the um, 85 mil that we tested was yes. actually from 2006. And you can tell um, how long, it didn't take long to autofocus. Yeah. It just would hunt, it would go <laughs> and Could you hear hunt. it too? Oh yeah. You could yeah, see that's another so problem video work, for video. Yeah. Could not use the 85, it just, it'd hunt in and out, yeah. and you'd hear it, um, unless you, you know, boomed the microphone yeah. exteriorly. Exteriorly? Did you, did you do much testing with it at like, say, F4? Uh, I, or like I did, I, or I shot a little bit at F4, I don't think I shot anything here, mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, once you stop down the aperture, it becomes a lot sharper. The chromatic aberration like disappears immediately because I did notice that, especially when uh, pushing the minimum focus distance. Yep. When you're, I don't know if it's just that lens, but I noticed that when it was you're shoot fo uh, focusing on something a lot closer, a lot of chromatic aberration, especially on silver jewelry, it will just yep. appear, and you're like, yeah. ah. On the edges or just like across oh, the Oh, so edges? like if I was um, photographing my rings on my necklace, yeah. um, because again, being 1.2, wide open, yeah. as soon as the fall off starts happening, you're like, oh, well, there's the chromatic aberration. Yeah, okay. Again, it's not too bad once you're, you know, it's set up and it's looking at a further distance away, kind of design what it's for, because it's not a macro lens. It was not designed to be like, oh, you're using for product, even though you kind of could, but yeah, it was like, yeah. you definitely want to just be using it as an 85 to do portraits at a distance. You don't want to bring it in too yeah. close, otherwise, yeah, chromatic. I mean, that happens with every lens. It does. Like, yeah. even the new RF lenses, I'm like, you know, no lens is perfect. They've definitely included coatings and improved the lens elements to mitigate, mitigate to reduce that substantially, but it's still, yeah, it's one of those things, just battling yeah. <laughs> constantly. All right, cool. Uh, I think that's it for the, this video, guys. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already, because again, like 70% of my audience is not subscribed, yeah. so you might want to... What are you do doing? That. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Can I use your hat? Just a... Oh, yeah. There you go. Just a... Don't look. All right, see ya. <laughs>